So today we're going to be using a piece of drawing paper, a BLM Black Lives Matter movement resources, a print stick and a pair of scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is start to cut out some of the images really carefully using the sharpest part of the scissors which as we know is right down in the V and I'm going to consider where they're going to be placed on my piece of paper. This is A4 in size. Now the way I'm going to touch that is with a print stick, glue all around the edge and a cross in the centre. Now another technique is to rip the paper which has a beautiful texture and creates a beautiful texture to the outside of the, of the images. As we know we can't control that rip very well so it gives a lovely contrast to these really carefully cut lines that we created previously. So I'm then thinking really carefully about where these are going to be positioned. I'm trying to make connections to my composition now, thinking about making almost like a visual pathway. So to connect all of the little squares that I cut out earlier, the rectangles that we cut out. And now what I'm going to do is very carefully cut specific shapes. So I'm thinking about using the shapes on the resources and how I can creatively layer all of these techniques together to form one composition. So I'm just arranging them, seeing where that's best placed. So now I'm creatively manip manipulating the paper that's been left behind and thinking about how I can form almost like a pathway that separates into some of the grey tones and merging then into white. I'm then thinking about creating my own letters using some of that, again, some of that paper that's been left behind. Thinking creatively about ways in which I can start to fill some of that blank space. We want to explore Lots of different ideas here, but we don't want to overload the composition too much. Just to think creatively about that final outcome and giving it enough interest for it to look like a completed composition. And finally, I'm using keywords here. Um, to add just a pop of colour to the piece and I'm also thinking about cutting out one of the protest signs in order to bridge that gap at the top right. Now as you're aware the next stage of the process is to develop a stencil. Now this stencil is going to be in black, so I need to think really carefully about whether my background is going to allow that black acrylic paint to stand out. So what I'm going to do is give this collage a whitewash, which is where I've created a mixture of white acrylic paint and a little bit of water. And all I'm going to do is take a cloth, you can use a sponge, and I'm going to dab that in that solution and wipe it over my collage in order to dampen down some of the brighter colours. So I'm just going to use some dabbing motions and some sweeping motions in order to add a nice texture to the outcome, but to dampen down some of those colours so my black stencil layer will show through. Now, all I'm going to do is allow that to dry, ready for my stencil.